Welcome G-Man Division Training Grounds E to your weekly recap featuring me, Gunner, signed with Lazra. Hello. Uh, yes, let's let's just get to it. Um, uh, what am, what am I even doing? Yeah, I'm just all sorts of like confused about Nothing. just about everything. Well, the oh, chat we just you. had about. COVID. Oh yeah, that's probably just... not a safe and rebel chat, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, let's do it, because we just finished another recap, so it's sort of weird to, like, start that over again. Chaos Goes Forth versus FIFA Referees. It's a uh, win for the vampires there. Yep, but the, um, Chaos win in terms of SVP okay. and development. Because a Thrall died. Ooh. Um, and they did get a vamp level, but there was... but. There was a Chaos Warrior MVP, and there was also more SPP earned by the Chaos, I believe. Very no, it was well a draw. done. It was a, a draw in SPP, but the Thrall died, which I think makes it a Chaos win, if you ask me. Or at least a draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes... Sure, I'll take also, that. Also, um, actually, right, this, these results have meaning, right? I was talking to Heck about this, and um, the the Training Grounds team with the most point, with the best record across Training Grounds and the first half of the season gets a challenger's ticket. Right. And yep. that's across all of Rebel. Right. Which means it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, that's true. But it might matter. But it probably doesn't matter. It might. But, but it might. Well, actually, let's take a look. Because the ticket will realistically only go to someone who has gone undefeated. Has in anyone gone card. undefeated in our div? Uh, that's just the thing. You can't really track it very well. You've got to find... You'd have to go to each team, and because this is like, right, because I'm making a recap for this, and I don't know if I can be bothered to even have a proper look at it, because I'd need to go to every single, look at every single training grounds did, look at the winning teams there, and then look at all of their first half of the season, and there's no quick way to do that, because I don't have access to the raw data. Oh, it's the overall record? Yeah, it's the overall record. That's ah. why it's going to be But anyway, training grounds E, so Reliable Angels, I'm going to look at their... First half of the season record, history, five um, F. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not going to happen. The teams that have undefeated here were one, two, and four in the first half. So. Yeah, okay. We'll just ignore. We don't that. have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, good. Then uh, that was that game. Chaos win. Then um, good old Hermosep gets his win against the um, the Orcs. And was it a double win? It was. Nice. So that was nice. Both very nice MVP. So that's what you like to see. Yeah, that's what we're about here. Yep. Spaniard Rules gets just completely annihilated by the Dark Elves with their uh, 745 mm. Blitzer, as you'd almost expect, really. Yep. Uh, he's on. He's 7 SPP away from dodge. Mm. Being horrific. At the moment, you've got, he's a, it's a small window where he's still sort of unsafe. Oh, God, what a beast. Yeah. Uh, pff, a win for the Dark Elves in every way conceivable there. Well, actually, they had some players die, to be fair. Like, two Yeah, the TV, the TV is going to be... They're going to be lonering a bit here. Mm-hmm. I mean, a very tall team. Oh. Yeah. So that was that. Oh, no! What? The metal... The Hail Mary Pass skin got MNG'd. That could be oh. worse. I'm sad though. Anyway, sure. Skink MVP as well. Whoa, there's a lot of skinks on this team, dude. Uh, there are. Well, let's take a look at it. Yeah, there's a, there's a worrying amount of skinks on this team. That's a talking point. I mean, is it, is it that bad? Seven. He's got, he's got bench of three. There's seven skinks. That's a lot of skink. No, oh, right. I don't so know. he has. No, okay. He has seven I mean, normal players plus. One, two, three, four, five, six normal skinks, which means he has 13 players, that's a bench of two. Oh, all right, that's not too bad then. I just saw a lot of skink and was like, wait, spooky. Uh, right, what team is it? Spaniard Rules. Let's take a look at their develop month. That's not the they right They got a button. skink MVP and that was it, sadly. Not right, a lot of SPP. So no level? Uh, skink MVP. Moving up. Ah. Moon up skink, that's nice. Nice, it's a bit of one turner. 
he's it makes there. a one turn it makes a one turn feasible because mm -hmm. they don't have any frenzy and there's no well, it's still yet. really hard because of stunty how do you mean stunty gives minus one two passes oh yeah stunty. Cool. well yeah it'd be the same with halflings like you have to get it if the, if the kick's shallow then it's on if it's not shallow not on yeah yep sounds about right so that was that. We'll take a look at Chaos Goes Forth in terms of their development. They get Warrior a... MVP. Warrior MVP. General Anthony Melchett gets mighty blow. I think he's the one that's played by Stephen Fry. So if you could picture Stephen Fry as a Chaos Warrior with mighty blow, then that's what he is. What the guy from Futurama? What? Who's... No. Do you not know who Stephen Fry is? No. Oh, God. He's like a really famous... He's quite a famous... Um, I don't know, like... Present, like, broadcaster... Like, guy in the UK. Just Google him. He's really... He's, really he's a name. broadcaster in the UK. The Norwegian would know all about that. Yeah, but he's, like, international... He's, like, well, no, yeah. He's an actor as well. He's, like, really... Yeah, actor, comedian, and writer. He's like, I thought. I feel like you might have known him. Oh, he him! Was, um... Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I, I didn't know, know his name. You know his though. name. You might not know his name, but yeah, he's. Imagine him as a chaos warrior, and that's what that piece is. I can totally picture that. <laughs> the very soft sort of like posh accent. Yeah, I like um, him. Anyway. Yeah, he's um, nice guy. Kevin, Captain Kevin Darling takes a movement bust. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him get sacked, as he probably has enough money to replace him after the next game. He's MGed anyway. Yeah, see what the uh, yeah they'll have enough money next game. Value actually no, if they roll a one on the uh, winnings. If they roll a one, but I mean that's a snake basically. Oh, you're assuming they'll win. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. In terms of development, we'll take a look at FIFA referees. That's the vampire team. They had some yeah. deaths, although it's only on a block thrall, so you're not crying. Yeah, and... you're not too sad. And they haven't. Oh, they've taken the level and hired a fifth vampire. Ooh, interesting. That's uh, taking the Andy Davo approach there. Yeah, uh, they got one to block. Right, so the blocks there is nice. Because he has now uh, three block to hit on the uh, LOS if he so wishes. Is that your vamps on the LOS? Uh, probably. Depends on the matchup, I suppose, but I probably would. Well, I don't think many people Especially do, now, I mean. because they really need the SPP, and that's free hits. Oh, you mean on offense? Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> I thought you meant on defense. No, on like... defense, there's no <laughs> way now. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, of course it would be on offense. Sorry, that's really dumb of me. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. We, we, saw a, we saw a guard pro off throw the other, the other recap, and I'm still sort of... With leader. Coming. Which means With leader. Just so leader much guard. Oh. Uh, um, poor guy. I hope he doesn't watch this. I'm a bit shaken. We're just bullying him. Um, yeah, no bullying here. I just think it's a bad level, and uh, we'll see if it works out for him, though. Either who will take a look at... What's the next team here? Uh, sure, FC Amenstein. It's Hermersep's team. He got some more blood, if I remember correctly. 1620 yeah. is um, a thing. Now he has three blood warriors, because why wouldn't he? Yeah, it's all about that. God, he has three blood warriors. <laughs> This is going to be an awful team to play against for a Bash team. Man, and, uh, if I could roll this kind of doubles. Man, if only. And the strength on the Beast and Argyle. Oh, it's going to take him so, dude. It's going to take him so long to get them. Forever. To get them. No, it's going to be... Oh, you... I don't know. Would you have taken... I don't know if I'd have taken the I would have the because it's one. hilarious in like three oh. seasons, but... They're not going to... In three seasons, two of them will be dead, dude. <laughs> you might be right there. They're not going to win games. I, I, well, they might actually. They've got they've got one killer. I don't know. I think I might have just. Who? Which one was the one that leveled? Sorry, was it uh, one of the just probably head of on Amundsen? I don't think. I think I would have just taken another guard or mighty blow. I don't know if I'd have taken the third one. I like the dodge. Maybe a, maybe a diving tackle. I think it's fun. It might yeah. be good too, because here's the thing: the main it's good, but like it's good in theory, but this is such a bashy, glory league. I think. Yeah, the scary thing for Nerdle Warriors is 
for the most part, other Chaos and Nurgle Warriors with like Claw Mighty Blow who just like stomp on them. But those players never have tackle is the thing, right? That's true, that is true. I just, ugh, if, I just feel like it's going to be so, they're going to be, need to get lucky with MVPs. Yeah, it's, it's, oh yeah, no doubt. Good luck. It's good worked luck. so far though, I mean look at this. It this has, it has worked. It's crazy fair, in terms of a one seasonal team. I mean no. if you look at it, Matumbo, yeah, one of the Blodge one Warriors, he hasn't no MVPs yet. So he's managed to get all of his uh, injuries. I mean he basically always scores on them, which is, you know, a thing. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna need some good They're all on about twenty, aren't they? It's gonna they're gonna need to try and focus all the time. They're gonna have to carry on the Nogu Warriors basically from the start. Yeah. With the drive. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be I'd stick one of them in the backfield pick up. Well, um, maybe not. Essentially that play like Camry. Just pretend you're Camry for a drive. It's Camry with like a double movement busted carrier, which is just so bad. Oh, but it'd be so bad. It doesn't matter if you just want. No, just score. hand off. Is it, you score. reckon it'd be a yeah, hand off's probably smarter. Ugh. Good luck, kind of set. I really hope it works. But I just don't think it will. That was the. That wasn't the only level though. He also took Juggernaut on his Pestigore instead of Block. I told you he would. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, literally last week I remember we had this conversation. We were like, no, you take Block every time. And I'm like, no, I'll take Juggernaut. I I would take Block every time, but apparently he wouldn't. Why would you? Like... Well, because you can. It's it's a possibility that you can get more knockdowns than if you go for knockdowns. Yeah. I'm not going to get into that debate again, but yeah. Well, they're only 20 SVP away from tackle. <laughs> nah, they'll take block next every time, I think. No, I still think it's better because. It just delays tackle by so much. Like this early in the season, there's gonna be a lot of positionals who don't have. There isn't no so there's no tackle on this team yet. To be fair, right? So now he like the next skill is is block. Like, let's be honest here, and might be tackle. I, it'd be if so tackle. haggard if it was tackle, but he takes block right. Then he needs to get up to like, I don't 70. even remember what it is like, seventy six SPP. Yeah. Well, when you got claw piling on, I mean, that's, that's not impossible. Like, it's just... Ooh. Ooh. Piling on would be a legend skill. Oh yeah, he doesn't have piling on, I forgot about that. I like it, stay. I like it. If you say so. Uh, right, that was that in terms of that team's development. We'll take a look at the uh, top dogs. We've got a grand total of one level, although some MNGs too. The block troll finally gets a level for some guard. Very nice. Nice. Oh, nice bit of guard there. And then some uh, MNGs there, which are unfortunate, but not the end of the world, considering what season mm. we're in. No. It's good. A lot of pieces close to leveling here. You got the uh, one of the black orcs is close. One of the other one, another black orc is within MVP. Blitz is getting the movement of Blitz is getting close to another level. So yeah, it's all gonna start. It's all gonna come together very quickly, I think, for the top dogs. Yep. Uh, and then the last team is the Reliable Angels, but they just had some Lionels die, so uh, we'll just yeah, they just got a bit cut. Mm -hmm. uh, Fourteen fifty. In terms of next week's games, we'll start off with the uh, FIFA Reveries versus FC Almenstein. That's Vampires versus Nurgle. Mm -hmm. Uh, predict the Vampires. You do? Yeah, they have a wizard. They do. A load of actually four, and there's no tackle on the on the Nurgle, so I'm um, predict vamps. Yeah, you're, you're not oh. wrong, actually. Um. Also, Hermoset has to do a warrior handoff, so there's a 75% chance he doesn't score even if he plays a perfect drive. I mean, he's not going to do the warrior handoff on the last turn, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which is a 75%. What? Yeah. No, you probably... Have... Alright, let's say it's like turn 7, right? You hand off to the Nurgle Warrior, it's a 4+, plus reroll, 75%. Alright, yeah, okay, fine, yeah, if you get two goes. That's true. But... Uh, probably still going to be Vampires, though. I, think I know Nerg, uh, Homer Sepp isn't trying to win these games either way. No. Wouldn't be surprised if he won though, not exactly. <laughs> yeah. I want to score touchdowns, so... so... I guess. Honestly, I can see a tie here. I'm not gonna ride. Yeah. Same. 
Uh, Spaniard rules versus Chaos goes fourth. Uh, pff, lizards against Chaos. It's hmm. not sure about this. Uh, one. The Chaos do you not have any claw my blow yet. Yeah, they're lacking I'm both this, strength. Oh, yeah. Look at this Chaos team. I'm predicting the lizards. It's really wide, which is good, mm -hmm. but there's no there's no guard. Yeah, no claw. I'm gonna go with the lizards on this one. Yeah, same. And then lastly, the uh, top dogs versus the reliable angels. It's hard to uh, bet against the hyper blitzer, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. I couldn't bet against Elios. Elios. Yes. Uh, yeah. oh, wouldn't be surprised if you got a wizard too. So I'm totally gonna go for the dark elves. They're pretty level on TV, aren't they? Fourteen sixty versus fourteen fifty. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no way. There's a wizard there. Yeah. Because be of all the loners. Yeah, true. He has a lot of learners. There's only, yeah, it's, it's like a rat team. Oh yeah, and there's a couple players missing on the orc thing, which was uh, yeah. psyching me. Yeah. me back a bit, yeah. He's probably still go for the dark elves though. Yeah, I will too. Only one tackle. They, have a, they do have a killer, but... I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Mm. The thrower will be on the pitch all the time, so there's a bit of armor rate to try and punch on defense and stuff. Right. Yeah, I think, I think so that was that in terms of predicting games, taking a look at games. That's a quick 15 minutes, which is uh, sort pretty of fine. good. I, I think I'll that's fair. That. Yeah. Um, right, then I guess this is uh, outro time. Mm -hmm. We'll see you all next week.